Now the millennials are being attacked by Zoomers in a big, big way. Zoomers yeah. are blaming everything on the yet. millennials. I think Generation X is the fucked up generation. Oh, of course they are. I saw Zoomers uh, in like a, a TikTok thread attacking millennials for using the word doggo too much, like referring to your dog as a doggo. This is the first time I'm so hearing cute. that. I, I've never heard it before, and I'm going to ask, uh, I'm going to talk about Birdie, I'm going to say, how's the dog go? <laughs> like, you are such a millennial. Remember when people were calling their dogs something like something babies, like, I forget what it was, like animal babies fur or babies. something? It was, fur babies. That, that's the grossest thing I ever heard in my I, life. I don't like it. And a lot of people will say, like, how's your fur baby? I'm like, oh. Yeah. Someone told me Chris had sex with a dog, but, oh, I know who told me, Vito. Why? Don't yeah. listen to him. When I was an intern, I would come in every morning, and I would have to get Chris coffee as he fucked dog in the office, and it was disgusting. And he Where did this watch. dog come from? You're not even supposed to have dogs in the building, oh, so you know what I mean? That, that was Studio Dog, and uh, <laughs> we had to get rid of him because he had so many STDs. And yes, it was a he. I didn't bang studio dog. Well, you had him bang you. That's what we're saying. No. No. Chris. No. Come on. You know I don't have sex with animals or have them have sex with me. Would that you know be less disturbing for you to find out that Chris allowed a dog to have sex with him rather than you thinking of the other way around? Discuss. To me, the most disturbing would be if Chris's girlfriend had sex with him. That freaks me out that he Why? would have sex with a human you with another yeah, think, with a human i know because i think so highly of her you know what i mean and for mm -hmm. that to happen i just have to believe that you guys don't make whoopee uh, love me i i like her so much i wish she was with Vito. i wish Vito had two girlfriends oh, me too he deserves two girlfriends because he's mvp I forgot to yeah. give you guys a detail about Chris and the dog. He used to feed yeah. it blue chew just to make sure that it had an erection. <laughs> That's sick, Chris. You didn't even try to get him aroused with your own abilities? I'm not feeding dick pills to animals. Why do I have to say this out loud? You tell me. Chris is somewhere on the scale between gross and funny. I can't figure out which. I don't know whether he's grossly funny or he's funny gross. I don't I don't want to be gross. All right. I just sometimes I share too much. That's an issue. I get that. Yeah. Uh, but I have to work on it. But I, mean, I don't think that you makes shared with gross. us that you let a dog have sex with you. No, that's fucking lies spewed by Vito. Spewed? Spewed out of his mouth. You were Spewed gonna say out of his fat mouth. mouth. He was gonna say fat. You, yeah. you all heard it. Then he had to. Yeah. Then he had to pull back. Yeah, maybe I was gonna say fat mouth. <laughs> it's easy, Chris. Hey, Chris, are you gonna bake anything this weekend for your big movie club date? <laughs> There will be a bake this weekend. I have, an, I have a Bread Bros in the chamber edited, and there'll be another one made this weekend. I don't know what I'm making this weekend, but I'm going to figure it out by the end of the week. Do doggy treats count as bread? No, they don't. <laughs> Blue Chews, now for dogs. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? Chris, Chris, Chris. <laughs> I don't think it's safe to feed a dog blue chew. I don't know if it's good for their little dog parts. You're fucking the dog, so what? Why do you care about their safety? Yeah, the he's doggo. Right. The doggo. Yeah. Oh, that's that's nice. because. <laughs> yeah, Chris is a millennial. He says doggo. <laughs> I don't know whether you guys. I've never heard a millennial say doggo. I've never heard it. Maybe it's an internet thing, but certainly IRL. I've never heard doggo. Faction Talk 103. It's the Bennington Show. Chris Stanley, the last hipster in Brooklyn, and the weird thing, he's been a story of Queen, just a regular street guy his whole life. And now he's in the Expo cab, 
And for whatever reason, I guess it's the cool thing to do is to go old school, grab a big cake of Zote soap. <laughs> Just start washing your clothes with a washboard. My name's Chris Stanley. A regular guy with a regular life in New York. I bake bread and bagels too. I eat them all for you on the ground. As I wipe the crumbs from my pineapple shirt, the buildup of dirt is no problem. Cause I'll wash it with Mexican. On the washboard aisle, check out my washboard flaps. Check out my washboard flaps. I love the expos. I'm the biggest fan. You can tell that I am from my cat. Because you look like your little first one, yeah. Sip. My urine jar I don't drive no car Cause that's lame And it's alleged I have gigantic logs And I have sex with dogs On the wrecks But that's false Just like those rumors of course That I might be a horse Check out my washboard flaps Check out my washboard The big washboard song. Uh, uh, Chris, I don't have the person's name who did that in front of me right now. Do you have it? That was DRM put that together. Uh, you got to say that again. I didn't understand you. That was DRM put that together. DRM. Here's the thing that I didn't notice when he first sent it in. I guess he's doing a Chris Stanley impression because that sounds exactly like you. I don't think it sounds anything like me. I don't. I don't appreciate the dog fucking thrown in there either. Yeah, whatever. I thought it was. But, yeah, doesn't it sound exactly like Chris? Yeah, I was like, that's cool. Now Chris is writing songs too. I just thought it was no. like an, a new, a new skill you've picked up. How could it? All he does is bake all day <laughs> long, just like his dad, the bagel maker. Um, all right, uh, that's your new theme song, and. Uh, what do you mean when you say washboard flabs, by the way? Uh, I didn't say that. That's not me. It's, uh, it's, it's making fun of my weight problem. That's what that is. Instead of washboard abs, washboard flabs. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Sometimes, and I mean, I love Chris Stanley, but sometimes I just want to beat him with a boat, uh, just like a uh, boat paddle. You know, just beat him until he was dead. <laughs> yeah. No. Why? Your personality. Because Oh, All right. okay. You told me yesterday that you had two choices, right? One was Twister. Yeah. Yeah. What was the other one? Uh, the other one was this movie, uh, Blue Ruin, that I wanted I'm to see a long time. Dying to see that. Dying to see Blue really? Ruin. Oh, my God. Oh, I would have loved that. Yeah, I would have went crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't believe I, I can't make the right decision every time my choice comes up on Movie Club. Look at my washboard flabs. Look at my washboard oh. flabs. I fucked up. That was so dogs. great when you sang that. I didn't sing that. <laughs> was it me? And then I said to Chris, I go, uh, what was this guy's name? He goes like this. <laughs> And I'm like, he's just trying to drive me nuts. He's gaslighting me. I'm not. I'm not gaslighting you. Then why were you talking like the Charlie Brown mom? I sometimes I'm like like one of Chris's ex-girlfriends where the are you trying to make me crazy are you trying to make me feel like I'm crazy 
How many times do you think women have said that to Chris Stanley in his life? Because he, he does try to make people crazy. Yep. With his wash. They were, all, they were all crazy before I met them. That's nothing to brag about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, we had a bread bros over the weekend and uh, Chris Stanley good bake good fucking bake thank really you very nice much bake. I appreciate it uh, tell everybody what you have it's up on our uh, Instagram but tell them what you did so I made breakfast sandwich rolls and then I made a breakfast sandwich which I called the sandwich which was uh, wait, egg. hold on. That's like, yeah. hold on. Is that tied in with your name, the sandwich? It is. It is. Ron. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. <laughs> Good. Sandwich starts with S. Sandwich starts with S. It makes sense, I think. And then the the sandwich was egg, a white cheddar cheese sauce, and a piece of roasted prosciutto instead of bacon. And that is the sandwich. Now, my problem. Uh, Nothing at all with your bake. The bake was done perfectly. I'd eat the hell out of those rolls. But this fancy la la sandwich that you went to <laughs> when we have a good breakfast sandwich. You know what I mean? I, I'm going to say this. I'm conservative in the morning. I'll get a little progressive at night, but I want a good conservative breakfast in the morning. Well, you know, here's the thing. Chris is on the uh, cutting edge. He lives in Brooklyn now. He's just come into his hipsterhood finally. And I feel like you're seeing more and more cheese sauces. I'm like, of Ugh. course, Chris. When I saw the cheese sauce, I was like, yeah, makes sense, Chris, and put a cheese sauce as opposed to a piece of cheese on there. I love a cheese sauce. And this was, there was, this, this was just straight milk and white cheddar. And it was very easy to make, and it's fucking delicious. Mm. And then you don't like bacon. You don't like sausage. Well, no, I like sausage. I like bacon. I didn't have them, so I improvised. And I know I had a piece of prosciutto, so I baked that till it was very crisp, but like a piece of bacon. And then I put that on the sandwich as well. well hold on. This wasn't even a recipe? It was off the top of your head? Yeah, I made this, yes. All right. I know you made it, but did you invent it? Well, or, I, I, are other I, people doing this in the morning? I don't. I don't see other people doing it. I, I just improv. I took the ingredients I had and I made the sandwich, which is now a thing. Okay, it sounds like you're lying. I want to believe you. Sandwich. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to catch on. <laughs> it really isn't. I think he almost he said a million you. people uh, tried to order the sandwich. Hip <laughs> <laughs> fuck me over. <laughs> <laughs> Explain uh, the breakfast roll itself, though, Stanley. Uh, that's just your, your basic bre uh, breakfast roll, just with flour, salt, a little bit of butter to make it soft, uh, yeast, and then um, and then I put some uh, poppy seeds on as well, just because I like I prefer a poppy seed roll. That's just me. And then I then I put yeah. the greens on the actual roll. Again, you sound defensive instead of like this is a delicious thing. Um, if I was watching your Food Network show, I go. I guess he doesn't want us to make this. <laughs> He's I not want, giving us the recipes. I know that much. I want everyone to be eating sandwiches every morning from now on. It's too much cheese sauce in the morning. It's too, it's a very rich taste first thing in the morning. What's wrong I with cheddar? Like the, the cheese sauce got poppy because you know, like queso. And then now people are like, I like making all different types of cheese sauces. I feel like that's really how it began, though. The love of queso. Now, I would love to see um, people talking about your recipe, Chris. But I'm going through the uh, the comments. Okay. Uh, every lady's dream: losing weight in the face and keeping those titties. <laughs> Come on. Uh, that pair is going to look nice in a cardigan come winter. Mmm, boat. Yes, the titty shake is back. Um, I, I just saw Chris's titty. A titty is catching on a lot more than I thought. 
Gotcha. Uh, here's one. The, the cleavage is distracting. <laughs> this is fat shaming. Again, I don't understand what it is. Chris, you're not fat, but you lean over and show cleavage. You're it's very thin right now. Although this one says, look my titties, fat bastard. <laughs> Why so many titties? That bastard never said that. <laughs> so what? I, I show off some cleavage. I show something off. I mean, why is everyone to point that out when I'm making a delicious sandwich for everyone? It's it's 100 percent across the board. No one is talking about the sandwich. They're talking about the cleavage. This one just says "dem titties." Dem titties. <laughs> this is Instagram, not OnlyFans. Okay, I've got some fucking uh, candle. I must be so used to your titties that I didn't even notice them this time. Like, I feel like I've missed something. Like, you Go remember back. that You'll... video where, yeah. like, someone's in a gorilla suit and goes by, like, like dribbling a basketball or something? And you're like, how did I not see that the whole time? That's Chris's titties. All right, this one says nice bread and then nice fat jugs in that tank top. <laughs> Come on. Jugs. Here's... Man boobs, the boobs of a man. Here's one that just says, shake them titties. I was shaping bread. I wasn't shaking my tits for Instagram. Vito, play the uh, video for us. And Gail, make sure that you look at the last scenes when he's leaving over, leaning over. <laughs> okay, well. Hey guys, I'm Chris Stanley. I'm Fred Bros. This week we're making breakfast sandwich rolls, and then we're gonna make the sandwich. Let's stand. Add your flour, your salt, warm water and yeast, then mix in mixer for 10 minutes with melted butter. Let rest for an hour. Cut and shape your dough into balls and let rest for 35 <laughs> minutes. Score each and every roll with a razor and then hit them with the egg wash. Bake for 25 minutes and that's how you get delicious soft breakfast rolls. Now it's time to make the sandwich. Add your egg to the roll, then drizzle over a hot white cheddar cheese sauce. Top that with a piece of roasted prosciutto. That's yummo. That's bread bros. <laughs> Too good, bros. Too good. <laughs> I saw the two days. <laughs> I must be food obsessed that I missed that. Yeah. Me too. I was focusing on the food until I read all the today stuff, and then I went back and looked at it, and I'm like, it was right there. I here is a, this is a non titty thing, and it's something you should take on, Chris, if we're going to sell this to Food Network. Okay. This one just simply says, "Why dude has three different voices," and it is true because I went back and listened this time. It sounds like three different people are doing. <laughs> Voice over. Yeah, why, dude? Well, when I'm instructing, I have to take on the instructor persona. And then when I'm enjoying the food, I have to be the guy enjoying the food, which I am. It's, it's genuine. And then, you know, the first part's just like fun. I'm setting it up. I don't know. Most people have one voice and they stay with it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted Yummo to catch on, not Tite's. This is, this is <laughs> I will admit I hate Yummo a lot. <laughs> Yummo. <laughs> and I would like to, to me, since this is bread bros, the focus should be on the bread and not the cheese sauce. Like when this started, yeah. you just had perfect bread and a stick of butter next to it. And, you know, <laughs> that was it. I, I have to admit, I've gone on a cheese kick the last... I'd say month, and uh, maybe I got a maybe I got a pill back from that. I don't know. It's just like I it just just using. I love cheese so much. I just wanted to incorporate into something else. I love bread. But why then? Why don't you just call yourself Cheese Bro? And every week you're making a new kind of cheese. Maybe I'm gonna get back to basics. Back to my bread bros roots. I don't know what the bake is this week. I don't know yet. 
Now, RailRail79 said, still no measurements. Cool, cool. Do you think that he meant for the bread, or do you mean bus size? Come on, Gail. <laughs> I think the titties look bigger because the rest of his body's just shrinking. <laughs> you're be, tiny, dude. What he said, and you're right. That normally uh, for uh, a lady would be uh, very exciting. You'd be like, this is working out perfectly, that, this weight loss. That's the dream. These are still in full effect from the stand, man. <laughs> Here's yeah, a kind of a funny one that I wanted to read to you, and then I clicked it off. I have to find it again. Okay. Here's a, a, a spy report that uh, kind of ties in uh, the spy report. Spy report. Spy report. Uh, the director, Joel Schumacher, passed away. He was. 80 years old he of course did the lost boys gail one of your favorite movies of all time yeah. kids movie and then he also did the batman and robin where they put the nipples on the titties yeah and he people did. were outraged about the male nipple you know i i was taking a look at the the um the batman titties not too long ago and i was like i can't believe the outrage level of that like why were they yeah. so upset there's well, so many Joel, like hypersexualized female, you know, costumes in those kind of movies. Like I don't know what would be the big deal. Well, that came out at, at a time where men weren't comfortable talking about other men's sexuality. Now there's a whole new generation. Vito could sit around and talk about who's fuckable or not with men <laughs> all day long. Yeah. He and his friends do it all day long. Yeah. Um <laughs> and it doesn't it doesn't mean anything then. But Joel Schumacher did the show one time, uh, and he kind of put male sexuality into everything. The Lost Boys, you can look back at that and go, oh, were these little gay kids? But you kind of miss it when yeah. you first see it and you're a young person. But then he's got sexy Rob Lowe hanging up there and, you know. Right. Corey Haim's character, definitely. Yeah. You know, not only that poster in his room, but just the way he dressed and his, like, way he expressed himself. It just kind of <laughs> seemed like that was the implication that he was born this way. He was born this way. <laughs> uh, but now there's a whole new generation where a guy like Chris can show off his titties. And, uh, all right, people are sending this in. Chris says he's trying to get Yummo to uh, catch on. Yeah, it did catch on, Chris. It's already in the dictionary. It's been there for years. What? Yeah, of course. No one says Yummo. Is it? Yes, huh? Isn't isn't the what's her name? Rachel Ray? Doesn't she do Yummo? Yeah. Yeah, no, they does. do yummers. They do yummers. That's the fucking. No, they thing. don't do yummers. I'm pretty sure she says Yummo. Yummo. Yum oh, oh, good. No, oh, good. Good. <laughs> good. It is. Oh, look, he good. doesn't even. He doesn't even attempt to describe the taste. He just says good with a giant mouthful of food six inches away from the camera and <gasps> six inches away from those big tetes. I feel like I wouldn't mind Yummo as much if it wasn't immediately followed. It doesn't go, that's Yummo, that's Bread Bros. Like it's some TV catchphrase. Yeah, yeah it is. It's a TV catchphrase. No, but not it's even exactly a good one. It's a fantastic one. Everyone's just distracted by my tits. That's the problem here. Tits. Tits. All right, this was sent to us. Uh, not only does Rachel Ray say it, what? it's trademarked. It's a I trademark. <laughs> That's the drawing board. <laughs> God damn it. This is terrible for me right now. This is worse than the you tit could, fucking comment. You could try something like I lick them balls. Maybe that yeah, could be your catchphrase. <laughs> that no one else says. That's a rim jab. <laughs> Damn, Chris, it's the name of her nonprofit. Fuck. <laughs> oh, God. This is, this is awful. I hope what did you say? You said, she said yummers? I thought you yeah. said yummers. Maybe you take yummers then. <laughs> All right, that's not bad. 
and just say it's another Yummer's Day parade and just play <laughs> banjo music. <laughs> Yummo. You just got a cease and desist from Rachel Ray Incorporated. God. I never watched her show. I don't fucking God damn it. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Mm. Good. Mm, good. Mm, good. Chris, every day coming to the office, I would see you watching Rachel Ray. That's a oh, lie. Okay, there we go. <laughs> every time any sentence fucking Vito starts with I when I walked into the office is a fucking lie. <laughs> I trust me. All right. Hosp, and I haven't heard from him forever. And he goes, What is the address to Chris's fans? Oh, I mean, I'm sorry. What is the addresses to Chris's OnlyFans so I can see those uncensored titties? He's old school. He goes, Titties with two T's. <laughs> uh, I don't Dude, have you, only fans. You should have one. Big J has one now. Does he? Yeah. Really? It's killing with it. Big J. Oh, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he does on there, but he's got an OnlyFans. <laughs> and I think he invites other OnlyFans in and has them do stuff. <laughs> oh, all right. The... Uh, Somebody passed a screenshot of Chris's tits, and uh, you would swear that there were a woman's breasts. Oh, <laughs> you would swear it. It's a close-up. Is it on Twitter? Yeah, yeah. Wayno did it. And, uh, I mean, there's no doubt that young people could masturbate to those. I hope Instagram's going to flag this video. <laughs> That'd be terrible. Mil By the way, Millie Hatchet, I haven't heard from her in a million years. So she just wrote, so Chris melted old milk and added new milk and called it cheese sauce. Um, it was fucking cheesy sauce, without a doubt. She oh, no. Now it's cheesy sauce. It's white cheddar, hot white cheddar cheese sauce. <laughs> if you crop the beard out of this picture... Oh, no. You would 100% think it was a woman. Or just think that it's Vito's grandmother. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> would it be weird if I got aroused by myself? Do that on your OnlyFans. Or your fans <laughs> only, whatever the fuck it's called. You should get a fans only page and just spend like an hour putting stuff up your ass. I bet people oh, would God. sign up for that, Chris. I bet you make some real fucking fat cash. Your um, username should be only Stan. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> That's better than Stanwich. I was reading a lot of dudes now, like college age dudes are joining OnlyFans to get a quick buck to post, you know, dick pics and feet pics. Feet? Yeah, feet. Yeah. You know who's in the men's feet is fucking Fezzy. Really? Yeah. I did not know he that was he, a thing. Yeah. He says he likes them because cum doesn't come out of them. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. Uh, that's the name of Rachel Ray's bakeware where he probably saw it. Oh. Yummo. Non-stick ba bakeware. <laughs> Oh my God, Chris! I should have Google before I came out of my mouth. You're gonna be called into the office. This fucking social distancing has put the goddamn company in in peril right now. Oh no! I actually haven't seen Rachel in a long time. Does she do a socially distanced show? I don't know. I haven't seen any of her shows in ages. In fact, that's weird because the last time I saw it was a Father's Day episode last year. And it was, um, it was a pretty sad episode. <laughs> she just looked like she really didn't want to be there. And she was cooking and the, she was just dead behind the eyes. And the whole thing just seemed like a cry for help. And honestly, like, they kept cutting to the audience, and they just looked like they were like, oh, God. 
I don't know. It was okay. just really sad. Is you she okay? all right? She's like, Yamo, right, guys? This is Yamo. This is what you want? I'm going to cover it in barbecue sauce, I guess. <laughs> Why not? It was really weird. <laughs> Fuck it, right? That's what it? you guys like? Okay, we'll just cover That's this in blue cheese, huh? Huh? For you fat fucks that watch this show, yummos, yes, right? that's pretty yummo to your type, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is something that's easy for you to make in the parking lot of a Walmart. <laughs> Here's a big shock. I'm going to crush up some Fritos and throw it on the top. <laughs> you like that, Yum-o. fatty? Yummo. <laughs> Come to my fans only page and I'll just keep stuff in my face while you guys jack off. <laughs> Should we even bother doing Chris's movie club? There were so many complaints this weekend that he had ruined movie club, that everybody was loving the new movies. And, uh, and then there were people going, how on Juneteenth did Chris not picked the Spike Lee movie and instead went back to a movie I think that didn't have a single black person in it. A twist. That's a good point. Why'd you do it, Chrissy? Because I had never seen it before. I thought it'd be fun. For who? You? It's not just for you, Chris. It's not Chris Club. Your selfishness has gotten to be unbelievable. I feel like those fat titties really went to your head. (laughs) I think you're better than us. Somebody told me Chris was leaving nooses around town. No. (laughs) Just no. (laughs) No. Because the detective found some... Found some cheese sauce, little drips of cheese sauce that have fallen down there in a man bra. (laughs) Should we do movie club? Should this be the last one? I mean, we're starting summer. We're already into this hideous fucking twister type thing. I know that you feel this way, that you feel like he's ruined it and that we should just stop it. But I will remind you, the last time Chris picked a movie, we almost killed it, too. Um, He tends to bring that out in us. So, you know, I feel like you, you know, we we watched a lot of good movies in between the Chris picks. Right. Oh, sure. If we didn't have Chris in this club, this thing would be fucking amazing right now. I know.